Yo, what's up, dudes? It's your boy. Scotty Smooth, man. This video, the Bass P carries us to a 20 kill Vondel solos win, man. Here is the build that I use in the video. Of course, the arrows, if there are no numbers with it, they're going to be all the way whatever their direction they're pointing. But this is it, man. The Bass P is definitely a really good one to use. And I love the 50 round drum on this gun. SMG, you don't really throw those higher drums on the guns just because it help, it slows down the speed, whatever. But for some reason, man, the Bass P is still fast. The TTK is really good. It's definitely up there. Right now with submachine guns, it's really whatever you can kind of hit shots with. You know, Lockman Sub, Vel is up there now, Vaznev, whatever, like this, of course, Bass P. So it's really whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, but this is going to show you what build I'm rocking and what build to use if you are going to be running the Bass P. You show me every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday night on Kick. So go follow us over there. Links in the description. And we're going to jump into the gameplay, man. But as always, if you enjoy the content, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Sub to the channel, and let's jump into the gameplay. All right, guys, so now that you saw that Bass P build, I'm going to show it here in action. We have the 20 kill Vondel solo win coming up for you guys. And as I'm playing through this, yeah, I die a couple times. Uh, I think the Lockman sub primarily gets me. So uh, when it comes to, like, TTK, Bass P is definitely up there. You guys are going to see that here. Uh, but really where it shines is the 50-round mag, the speed, the recoil, and the damage with the 50-round mag is important especially if you're in duos trio squads you're not having to reload all the time and that 50 round mag helps a lot so uh definitely one of the really good positives about the bass p plus it is up there man so give it a shot give it a try and uh, use whatever smg works best for you vel lockman sub iso 45 but in this case we have the bass p coming up so we're also going to walk you through this solo gameplay and give you guys some tips first tip obviously land at the same spot if not every time, almost every time, because you're gonna know where those fancy boxes are. You're gonna know where the potential spawn is. You're gonna know the area a lot better than people that don't drop it all the time. Uh, so you can see we do get lucky and land on uh, one of our boxes where this is a, a spot in mall uh, that can drop those or can spawn those boxes. So that's why I kind of land there almost every time. So we hear some gunfire. We push up, of course, uh, M13B as well. I'll put the link to the video if you want to check that out below. Uh, but definitely um, give that one a shot if you haven't. We see the gunfire. We get this guy, take him out. Sometimes on the roof of mall, uh, it's definitely, uh, you know, sketchy with head glitches. We hear someone below us. We pop out with the Bass P. We take him out. Missed just a couple shots. This was like the third game in uh, and end up getting the kill there. But again, we have our loadout. They don't. So we're, we have the advantage there in gunfights. So with mall, particularly, it's kind of a hot drop. So we're in solos. I'm kind of keeping my eye open for third parties because we all know how third parties get in solos. I have 13k already. So my brain is already thinking that let's go buy some UAVs. Let's get some loot and let's start pushing fights. So there's a guy over here we saw. We take him out pretty easily again with the M13. So uh, get that kill there. Trying to hear, see if there's anyone around us because again, we don't want to get third partied and we don't hear nothing. So we're going to drop down, get ourselves a UAV and pretty much rinse and repeat, bro. So UAV kills, durables, make sure you have your self revives and like, and then if you have your durable self revive, just go rinse and repeat, push fights, go ahead, buy UAVs, push fights, UAVs, whatever. So uh, try to hear, hear third parties uh, as we do play pretty aggressive throughout this whole game. Hence the 20 kill game, man. Honestly, I, I feel like uh, myself, I always kind of get locked into like the 17 to 19 kill range. Barely cracked 20. Uh, so for me, it's pretty much saying if you can, if I can use this gun, you can use this gun. Uh, because again, I'm not putting up 30 kills a game left and right or anything. But we do hear gunfire. Of course, we pop UAV and we take that guy out really easily. No one on the UAV besides this guy that just landed. I think he's below us, but... We have the high ground. In Vondel particularly, I really like to stay on the rooftops because you will have the advantage. This guy's ghosted. We do see this guy. He jumps across. Tracking was on point there. Ended up taking him out with the Bass P. And also, we pick up his perk package because he also did have ghost. We don't have a perk package yet, so... Another thing to kind of keep your eye open for in solos, particularly perk packages with Ghost uh, before your loadout, and then that stealth vest. So uh, we hear a guy below us, take him out easily. Uh, he doesn't really see us there, and we get the kill. We're at six already, man. So we're kind of cruising. 
We have 4,800 right now. 100 right now, so we don't have enough to go buy a, a UAV at the moment, which I am going to start looking around uh, for some money, but... When it comes to solos, you're going to come across a lot of players that the uh, they like to kind of ego the challenge a lot of things. They land back. They try to land back on their loot and uh, try to try to get maybe they get pissed off. You kill them. So they're try they, they land back on their stuff. And that's a big tip that I recommend for you guys not to do is don't land on your stuff if it's not safe. That guy did. We end up getting the guy across the street as well, kind of third party that. Uh, but the guy that we just killed above, uh, we end up taking out. So this guy actually hits me with a drill charge as I jump through the window. The bass piece fast enough to kill this guy, uh, which is awesome. And thankfully, I had a self revive. So he throws it. Perfect timing. I jump out and then end up getting the kill. He sticks me with it. I throw up self and we are okay. So. Uh, self revives are really important. Solos, you're gonna be getting uh, s uh, people sniping at you, uh, and you might come across kind of those funky uh, issue situations where self's gonna obviously save your ass. So we have nine kills. I did have a portable buy, so decided to throw that down. We don't have enough for UAV yet. Uh, also, we just picked up a Semtex because we did not have a lethal. Typically on my loadouts, I run uh, knives, but in solos, I would definitely recommend drill charge probably as the number one, you know, Semtex, maybe frag, um, but drill charge, I would definitely say should be your lethal in solos because you're going to come across a lot of people that are hiding in buildings, hiding in corners, stuff like that. So nine kills, uh, this blue box just spawned, so we do have enough now for UAV. We're going to go ahead, pop, buy ourselves a UAV, pop that. And we're going to see where these guys are at. Uh, and with the M13, man, just look at the freaking the recoil on this thing, bro. Like, it is it's nuts, man. If you can hit your shots, this thing puts people down. Right there, obviously, he had spawn protection. But I just wanted to kind of show you, showcase uh, the recoil. And, again, I'm not the best player. I'm not, like, the best at the recoil control or anything. So if I could do it, you guys could definitely do it. But UAV, this guy's right here. Perfect timing. He jumps across. He does kind of peek out a little bit just to see which is smart on his part. Just to kind of see where I'm at. Now, one thing that I did not do is I did not push this guy because I know he's in a much better position than I am. Typically in Warzone 2, if you're get pushing someone and they're waiting for you ADS, you're at a huge disadvantage because you are uh, maybe tactical sprinting. You don't have your gun out and uh, they'll take you out pretty quickly with the TTK. So this guy ends up sniping me, cracks my shield. So we're not going to challenge that yet. We're going to replate, reset, and we're going to hit him from a different angle. This time we're hitting him right here and we take him out really quickly with the M13. So... Make sure that uh, you're, you're making your opponents guess um, Because if you pop out the same spot more likely he had his, his sniper out obviously So he's gonna be ADS in that same exact spot that you were looking uh, at or he was getting shot at from the get-go 10 kills and we are cruising man We just got a UAV thrown up here and up upcoming is a fight. That's really important. So we do see a guy uh, He is sniping in that little I guess I don't know concession stand area, but we end up getting shot from behind third party and so in this case We're gonna get behind cover and we were kind of in a shitty situation there So we got ourselves out of that situation And now there are some fight firing going on over here of course two guys fighting So I'm gonna kind of creep it not really pushing too hard because if I popped out here I would have been completely smoked but I stand back, and then I know where exactly where he's at. Obviously, he's looking. I was quick enough to aim lock on exactly where he's going to be. So you see, I pop out, kind of go back in. And then right there, I already have my reticle pretty much lined up to where that window is going to be. And then was just able to take him out pretty easily there. So reticle control is kind of is really huge. You guys got to make sure that uh, that you're keeping your reticle up. But this guy ends up lighting me up. I saw him. You guys could see his head pop up. I mean, these rooftops sometimes in Vondel, man, the, the, the head glitch potential is crazy, bro. So, like, he's glitching hella right here. I had to hit every single shot, uh, and I'm kind of out in the open there. So, he ends up taking me out, which is fine. Of course, it's Resurgence. We're coming back in. Um, so, now is kind of the regame process of Resurgence. And even in this particular gameplay... I die a couple times, and I want to showcase that I die a couple times so you guys don't make the same mistake. So, as I mentioned earlier, we're not landing the same exact spot, but we remember where we killed that guy in the window. So, we decided to land on his loot. Now, we're kind of creeping around. There's the guy that was t that took me out, uh, just kind of sitting in there. And I do make a little bit of a mistake here because, as I mentioned earlier, 
more likely than not, if someone's ADS and waiting around a corner and you're pushing, you're at a huge disadvantage. And this is kind of where that shows. But as I mentioned, I don't land exactly right on my loot because that guy was probably just sitting there watching where my loot was. I landed next to it uh, and uh, end up uh, getting getting a little bit of regain back. But you can see right there, we throw a flash grenade and my dude's just laying there, bro. The flash doesn't really do shit. Like if you see the, the replay, it flashes him for a split second and then it just doesn't do enough damage or enough um, enough to actually get me in a good spot get me the advantage in that case so loadout did drop still haven't gotten loadout yet but with loadout and solos you got to be very careful because obviously you know people are not only going to be around this area because their loadout dropped here also uh, but you got to watch out for these people that are watching these loadouts trying to get easy kills so instead of going for the loadout I like to just kind of loot up a little bit around the area. Of course, if you know it's safe, go get it. Uh, but since this is resurgence, I'm waiting for my timer to go down. So if someone is watching this shit, if I am smoked, then I'm able to come back in the game and uh, and, and keep, keep it going. So the timer was up. We went ahead. We got our loadout. And... When I was talking a little bit earlier, I mentioned that uh, this game played, I don't know if it's twice or just once, but Lockman sub ends up taking me out right here. Like, we end up cracking him, but the guy ends up getting me because I missed like, maybe a couple initial shots. And he had the Lockman sub, so maybe very close range. The Lockman sub's a lot better. Uh, maybe not a lot better, but it's a better option. But when it comes to, like the medium sh medium ish like my t-shirts you know the tight ones that kind of hug the bicep when it comes to those bro like the bass p i think definitely holds uh, takes that one because lockman just the the range that the lockman has isn't really the best man so we're keeping our brain thinking throughout this whole gameplay bro you guys remember obviously we died right here to this guy that was in that corner i knew that i probably had my loot there i assumed that my ar was going to be there as well uh but at this point the circles closed in he had to move somewhere um so i just went back for my loot that i had beforehand i didn't go to the exact same spot where i just died but that's the next goal the next goal is to go get my loot where i died because i know that's where my ar is that's where my perk package smokes whatever all my loot is still probably sitting there probably my durable but we're trying to get up into that area with these buildings bro they all freaking look the same man the interiors are all the same so it's very hard to like know exactly what building you died in i thought it was this building my loot would have been right here i'm looking for it like bro what the hell like where's my shit at and it's because i'm in the wrong freaking building so if you guys can kind of keep your eye open for that make sure you're in the right spot the right building uh then that's obviously gonna help out uh, in that case but we were lucky enough to find an iso hemlock of course we have our bass p that we got from earlier that we died uh and now we're trying to push trying to kind of get more so into the circle uh there are some guys fighting below us so we just peeked out we don't really jump down and push we don't want to play too aggressive especially in solos because there's there could be guys freaking anywhere man any corner any rooftop literally anywhere and that's probably why i die so much in vondel is because i play aggressive and that's just not the, the 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 route the play so i creep around here i hear some footsteps around me but i don't uh i don't really jump to uh, get in there but right now we actually are in a terrible spot so right here and i don't know what the, what happens here but i always find myself in between two enemies so at, at that point bro get the hell out man if you can find an escape route, get out, because I would have been smoked. So I decided to jump through the window. We got that and uh, got got out of there, and then we ended up getting this kill because there was again. Uh, this is where the guy went that was just out there. So try to get try to know like when is a good time to escape, bro. I know a lot of people like to challenge those type of things, like to get kills, but is survival is the main point of Warzone, right? Being the last one alive. Uh, and if you're in a bad spot like that, like, of course, play aggressive, of course, push fights. Make sure that uh, that you are aware of when you're probably going to lose the fight. In that case, I did. So something really important here I wanted to share is I did pick up a uh, a perk package, but my perk package had restock, the one that I had now. This one actually has fast hands. Uh, so I like fast hands as my second perk just because weapon swapping, stuff like that. Um, and I think that's going to be very important, especially in solos, uh, just to make sure that you're 
can can do that as quick as possible so we're kind of playing the edge here i typically don't recommend that because that's where a lot of these players are going to come out the woodworks this guy went up taking him out uh pops out of nowhere but uh quick reflexes bass p takes him out uh, but i don't recommend playing this angle just because you're going to be pushing into people that are probably watching the gas we have a shit ton of money so we're going to go ahead and start to buy some things man we buy uh our durable which is important should have probably bought a self revive uh, and then UAVs, so I would kind of put it to where you can buy self-revive, a uh, durable, and then from there, just keep buying UAVs, maybe precision airstrikes, stuff like that towards end game. We do hear a guy in this building, that's how I know he's in here. He's ghosted, uh, but of course we heard the footsteps, so we just anticipated him being right next to us. Take him out there pretty easily, and now there are 12 players left, we have 15 kills, and we have UAV up. Guy, of course, right to our left. Had I not had UAV, he probably would have torched me because I would have just ran right out here. Uh, there's also a guy in the water, and the water play with Von Del, bro, can be so freaking ratty. So just, just really be careful around the water. If I jumped in the water right there, I probably would have died. That's why I like to stay above gr or on the ground, uh, get the hell out of the water. Uh, he's close to us, so I am going to use this UAV uh, because if I don't use the UAV and I die, then what's the point of having it? So throw the UAV. If you know someone's by you, why not? You can always get more money. You can always get another UAV. Just throw it up, bro. So he's right there in this corner. We end up cracking him. And then the water is uh, its hard to see uh, enemies there. But we end up taking him out. For some reason, we takes a little bit to get the full. But now that we got the full, I'm going to get his money, get his loot. Tempered as well. If you don't have a stealth vest, which I do recommend a stealth vest priority, from there, man, I would say tempered because tempered obviously gives you the two plate swat, uh, slots to get full. You'll be able to get re-engage a lot quicker than if you had to replate three times if you're in a shitty situation there. So, uh, eight players left, 17 kills. We have 29k, uh, and you know what? One thing I, I don't remember. I, I could rewind, but I'm eh, whatever. I don't want to pull back the video too long. He might have had a buy box. If he had that buy box, I would have picked that up and used that instead of having the ammo box. That way I could have threw down that portable buy, bought some UAVs, uh, bought a new gas mask because you, as you guys can see here, I have three levels left of the gas mask and then kind of uh, went from there with it. So end game, man, you guys are going to see me playing this really slow. And the reason why I play slow is because of the circle. You never know in Vondel where the circle is going to pull. So instead of me kind of running out in the middle trying to fight people there's still eight people left. Obviously, we're, they're all in castle. I'm kind of looking to see where this circle is going to be, where it's going to end up. So, yeah, I'm creeping around corners and stuff, but I actually get the circle pull, and I'm in a really good spot. So, had I pushed towards maybe middle castle, I would have had to run all the way back out here, pretty much make myself open to potential death uh, to someone actually get an easy kill from behind. So, right now, we're kind of... It, it, we want to get in a spot where we can gatekeep, right? We can be the ones that they have to push to. And that's kind of what I'm playing here. I only do have three levels in my gas max, so I'm not pre-rotating really heavy. I uh, heard a guy running, and he has a, a, a riot shield. So going back to my point, instead of challenging that and fighting that, the likelihood of me getting that kill because he has that shield is slim to none so i take off bro i smoke which obviously smokes are so important in warzone 2 i uh, see a guy above us land get the kill the gas animation almost takes us out uh, but we don't have a gas mask we do have to get in the circle to plate use the smoke smoke's gonna win you guys games trust me uh if you guys are end game smokes are a lot more important than any other tactical at the moment so uh, there are two other players left of course we have our boy with the riot shield which i crack him and for some i don't know how that semtex just doesn't do shit to him but semtex doesn't do nothing so i take another angle on him to see we end up dropping him and instead of pushing it because there are two other players left this guy could be right over here around this wall he could be back here i don't know so instead of pushing that to get the full I realize we have this buy box. I end up buying a precision, and I'm gonna let the precision get the finish for me. So we re get our stuff. We buy UAV. I still have 21k left. So 21k. This guy is ghosted, and with solos, obviously, most players do have ghosts. Uh, so buy three UAVs because that's gonna get you advanced UAV, and now you have uh, UAV for a full minute, full 60 seconds. So. He's up. I don't see him like underground or anything. So instead of 
pushing that from the, the street. I decided to push it from kind of the behind, try to get it from the back with the gas mask, but all of a sudden he's underground now. So I'm like, oh shit. Like I assumed he was behind that wall. So that's why he wouldn't have no idea I was behind him because he's looking forward into the gas. But anyway, uh, he's underground, he's in the water. And going back to what I mentioned a little bit ago, man, water play is tough. Try to stay out of the water as much as possible. Like if you don't have one of those machine pistols because you're going to be at a disadvantage. Right now, he's right underneath me. We hear him in the water. So the circle's kind of closing in. I don't know if he has a full durable. We don't. We just have a two bar left on our durable. So I'm not going to try to play this and hope the gas kills him. I got to do something. So we end up jumping down and seeing him right there. We take him out, get the kill. And that's GG's man. 20 kills solo game for you guys bass p definitely an awesome submachine gun to use bro so if you haven't tried out the bass p try this out give it a shot uh and hopefully this helps you guys out in some way as well giving you guys some tips in the solo but anyway that's the video man if you guys do enjoy the content be sure to hit the thumbs up man sub to the channel and as always i appreciate you for stopping by hope this video makes your day a little bit better peace